guys everyone welcome back to the chosen one by ashley welcome back to my channel if you do thank you so much for joining thank you so much for your support today word for tough times is god said teach your children how to respect one another and treat each other right it's important that you teach your children how to respect one another so as they grow as they get older they can be able to help each other. The Bible verse I want to read is Proverbs 22 and 6 and it reads, train up a child in a way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. You got to watch how you dealing with your child and this is for everybody. You know, if you doing your child in the system, you doing your child to, you know, a family member, you got to watch when you do stuff like that because as they get older, something in their mind like, I hate my mother, I hate my father because they throw me in the system or they put me in this situation. Even though you may want your child to get help and stuff, you got to be careful throwing your child to somebody else because listen to this, God gave us children as a reward. Okay? When a mom and dad make love, they have a baby. So you had a baby out of wheelock. And even though you had a baby out of wheelock, or some of y'all are first married, and you're not married anymore, you had a baby. Now all of a sudden, you know your baby in the system. Let me tell you this. I don't care how bad you get. Get your child some help and deal with your kids. Stop thinking that the system is going to take care of your kids. Some people, they had their kids in the system. Some of the kids, they got touched. Some things that happen. And you got to be careful doing stuff like that because people are not going to treat your children the way that you treat them if you've been treating them correctly. All I'm saying is, as a mother, as a parent, as a father, you need to get your kids out of the system Learn how to deal with your kids. If they have mental illness, if they have any situations, you listen to me. God gave you that child. You need to learn how to deal with your children. Stop throwing your kids in the trash and deal with your children. It's not nobody else's responsibility. I, let me tell y'all this. I don't care how mad, how upset I am. I'm not giving my kids to nobody. And that's just period. I deal with my responsibility. Well, listen to me, when you lay on your back and you did what you, you did, you had sex, you made love or whatever y'all call it, you, you know what you did, you did it, you had a baby, you went to that doctor appointment, they found out you was pregnant, tell, excuse me ma'am, you're five weeks pregnant, you're two weeks or whatever, you know what you did, okay, train up your child, if you train up your child, your child will need to be acting all crazy and doing all this stuff. Listen to me, some of y'all have failed on parenthood, and I'm just being honest. Some of y'all have failed on taking care of your kids. You want everybody to take care of your kids. You, listen to me, your mother, your father already raised you. Why are you going to try to throw your kids on your parents? Listen to me, and I'm going to be honest with you. If you know you're not ready to have kids, don't have them right now. Wait till you get married. Wait till, you know, you graduate and then do all that. Wait till, you know, you're ready to have children. Don't rush and have kids because your friends got pregnant. And listen to me, wait until you're ready. Wait till you're ready. Wait till you meet the right person because you keep having all these kids out of wheelock. When you going to know? That you're doing the same thing over and over every year. You having five, six, seven, eight kids out of wheelock. You want to be married, so if you want to be married, you gotta teach your kids. Okay, I hate y'all out of wheelock, but now I'm married. It's not about how you start your story. It's about how you finish it. Show your kids that you can be a good example by leading them the right way. If you want to teach your kids, teach them the right way. This is what you want to do. You want to wait, you know, for a man. You want to wait for a woman. You, you want to know if that's the right one. 
I'm going to tell you, let me meet your friend or whatever. You meet the, you meet your kid's friends, and that ain't the one. That ain't the one. Let me tell you this. Your kids got some fast friends. You better realize when your kids have fast friends, your children become fast. So as a parent, you need to be knowing who your daughter, who your son is talking to, who they in a relationship with. Because that's how these girls, these teenagers become pregnant. Because they dressing inappropriate. They showing their body. They doing things they shouldn't be doing. They re- listen to me. They copying straight off of their mother. They, they copying straight off their parents. Definitely, if a girl ain't got no father in her life, she's looking for love and dudes. You understand? She's looking for love and dudes. She ain't caring about what her mother's saying. She's breaking the law at home. She's breaking everything. I don't care what you're talking about. She's breaking her mom's stuff. She's breaking her, her brother's stuff. She's breaking everything. Because she upset on the inside. But listen to me. As a mother, it's no excuse. You got to stop running from the problem and deal with it. I don't care what you're going through. Deal with your kids. Stop throwing your kids in these systems. People throw these kids in these systems. Things are happening. People touching your kids. People are doing things they shouldn't be doing. Abusing your kids. And then next thing you know, you found out your child died in the system. You, you listen to me. You can't blame nobody but yourself. It's your fault. Deal with it. And I'm being honest with you. As a parent, you have an opportunity. You have a chance to bring your daughter, to bring your son back home. Deal with your kids. Stop making excuses. Listen to me. If your child has mental illness or if your child has a delayed disability, whatever, let me tell you this. Stop allowing that to take over you. Deal with it as a mother. That's your child. That's your responsibility. You got to deal with it. Suck it up, deal with it as, as a mother. You got to talk to your daughter. Tell her, I love you. I'm here for you, but I need you to get your behavior together. I love you, son, but I need you to get your behavior together. I need you to do better. Talk to them, encourage them, call them, check on them, make sure they breathe it. You understand? Money is not going to fix their problems. Love is what's important. People think money is everything. Money is the root of all evil. You got to love your kids. Your kids don't want to talk to you because you, oh, my, my mom only gave me $100. What is the $100? You got to show your kids love. You got to let them know that you are there with them. Through thick and through thin. Kids need love. They ain't worried about no money. They ain't worried about no gifts. They want love. I need my mommy. I want my daddy. I need my dad to be in my life. I need my mom to be in my life. Okay? So please raise your kids correctly so they won't depart. I love you all. Have a great, beautiful day. Stay blessed. Thank you for watching. Don't give up. Pray about all.